Hello and welcome back to Blockwall. So after the other day when we got the biggest field drilled there, I went on and done the headlands with barley. Now you just got to get the middle pulled down for sugar beet. It's got the spring time on the 399 turbo here. It's all drilled up ready to go. Head then just get that middle bit done now. What I've done is to drill 24 meters around the whole field. I've also been getting the beat drill ready in that shed. A bit of an obscure beat drill we've got there as it's 14 rows. Yeah, we've got single row halves so it works quite well. It shouldn't take too long to just to get this pulled down. You can see the 24 metres out of the field around the outside. There's not a great amount left. It's been ploughed a long while so it should pull down nicely. It certainly did around the outside. Just be careful you don't uh, go into the barley. Bit rough as we've got no suspension on this tractor. It's a bit old for that feature. That pulls down nicely. Okay. At least we won't have to worry about harvesting headlands on here. Not worry about running on top of the barley either to turn around. Get this pulled down, then the next job will get it drilled. Probably end up rolling this field as well, just to make sure we get a good seed bed. And to keep the slugs at bay. Don't lift up on the move in case it doesn't come out of the ground quick enough. So we won't put any of the smaller masses on this cultivator. Not on this field anyway, on the flatter ones we might get away with the 390. Only just. The man with the drone's gonna come get some footage for us again.
as you can see it uh, doesn't take long to get over the ground with this setup more of a lightweight seat bed tool really or cheap power hours are expensive especially in diesel bed with just uh, parts of this, I'm more than happy. around the outside as well. Carefully. Not worried if we slightly overlap the beat drill into the barley because the uh, other sides we've got on the barley will take care of that one. side we'll just have to be really careful on. Don't pull into the barley at all on that uh, sloping head there. tractor cell and should have been drill ready to go. So we'll find out shortly. Probably in the next video. Luckily our plough is set fairly well, so it's nice and level to go crosswise here. Eh? Otherwise I get a bit painful. in there. And I'll be this bit done. And once we've got the beat drilled we're all uh, done for the season with the drills. Mm -hmm. 
Get on to some other important jobs then. Do we drill this straight away or whether we just let it uh, haze off a bit first? We will see. Weather forecast looks f set fairly good for us. fertilizer to get on grassland and on these fields as well Let's just have to see how we get on with them as to what we do first don't really want to spray the barley around the outside of this one yet until the uh, beat is drilled on top of it once we sprayed it. Plus it's the same chemical we're going to be using elsewhere. go this quick with a power arrow. We tend to stick with this little tool, it doesn't owe us anything. Might look fairly fresh but the cultivator is, is, is much older than the tractors. It's probably the oldest piece of machine we've got next to the bee harvester. They break, you can't really uh, wear cultivators out because so everything's changeable on them. Points, tines. So we just haven't seen the sense in changing it yet. This strip around the outside to do. And we can head back to the yard. Roads are quiet around here, so we don't worry too much about escorts, not for this short distance. barley. If we have that should still germinate anyway. So it's springtime hitting it. Not sure where we'll put the beet next time around. Try to keep it around the area of the beet pad here if we can. Don't want it too far from the yard. to run too far away to get it from the livestock. So 
So when we get onto spraying and spreading, we have got light bars on those tractors. Should make it a bit easier for us. Nothing too fancy. Short fitting uh, wheel motor systems to the steering wheels. We can't actually factory fit GPS on them. If we need to put tram lines in with GPS, we tend to use the New Holland. So that's fitted with it as standard. Right. That will do us there then. Can head back to the yard with this. To be fair, we actually don't need the colour value back in that yard. A uh, plan for the cultivator. As you will see, Get a bit of a uh, have a bit of fun with it, shall I say? Well, I'm not going to cultivate the neighbour's grass up. Look, but what I am going to do. He's put pay to his little games here. And stop him cutting across our field. So we'll keep running up and down this grass margin to try and get in out of there. He hasn't got the access right through here. So we've fenced it before and he's removed the fence, so it's a bit of a dispute going on there. Let's see how easy you can move that out of the way. Get us back into the workshop. I don't need the dual wheels on here anymore now. I'll get them off later. In the workshop, I should say, into the workshop carefully with the duels on. It's the reason the beat drills unfolded in that barn and not the workshop. It won't fit through the door. Right, so that is where we'll leave this video. So for now I will say thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.